So we had talked about the uh, application of ray optics with uh, talking about um, convex lenses or mirrors. Now we're going to talk about convex lens. So we have a lens, so it's fatter in the middle. Uh, so that means that light coming through it is going to be bent here, bent here, bent there, and it's all going to come together. So all the parallel beams of light are going to come together. That defines a focal point. Well, so we got this lens. Light comes one way to a focus here, but light coming from the other way is also going to be bent to a focus. So l the lens would work the same both ways. So if you turn the lens around, the light's going to behave exactly the same way. This is the simplest kind of lens for us. That's what we're going to be dealing with. Uh, also, we're going to deal with thin lenses. Uh, thick lenses, we have to worry about how the light travels across the lens in different paths and so forth. For thin lenses, that's not an issue. Well, or at least we can, we can approximate it's not an issue. For a thin lens, the same equation holds 1 over F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over DI that we had for a mirror. Okay, so that that's... So this is the same. All right, so let's do an example. Uh, let's assume that we have a convex lens, and let's assume that the focal point here, okay, focal point is symmetric on both sides, so the focal point is going to be 7.55 centimeters. And I'm going to put an object a distance of 12.1 centimeters away. So about 12.1 centimeters, there's an object. So the way the light, w w the ray tracing works, light comes in parallel there, goes this way. Light goes through the focal point, hits there, goes this way. And then light through the center just keeps on going. So it all, we end up with right there, a, a uh, image. The image is upside down, the lights all coming together make an image, so that makes it a real image, and it is inverted. Okay, so mathematically, let's do this. So 1 over F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. Okay, so uh, we do a little algebra here. DI equals 1 over F minus 1 over DO to the minus 1. If we plug in the numbers that we had up here, that gives us a image distance of 20.1 centimeters. Okay, so positive number here means it is in fact a real image, and real images are inverted. Uh, we know it's also inverted because the magnification is minus di over do, and so the magnification turns out to be minus 1.66 times. Okay, the minus means it's inverted. The 1.66 is bigger than 1, so that means it's enlarged. Okay, so there we have it. Same lens, though. So imagine the same lens. Okay, now we have an object much farther away. So the DO is now going to be 30.6 centimeters. It's the same lens, so F is still going to be 7.55 centimeters. So same, same equation, so DI equals 1 over F minus 1 over DO to the minus 1. If we plug in our numbers, then the numbers come out to be 10 centimeters. Magnification minus DI over DO now comes out to be minus 0.33 times. So if we do a ray diagram, it would look like this. Okay, so what we found was that it is in fact still a real image. It's still inverted. Minus sign means it's inverted. Okay, from a ray diagram we also see it's inverted. Okay, the magnification is less, the, the absolute value is less than 1, so 0.33, so that means it is smaller. Okay, and it's at that location. Okay, well, now let's consider another case. 
same thing. Focal length, focal length, focal length is still going to be 7.55 centimeters. Now, DO, let's say that DO is now going to be 5.25 centimeters. So 5.25 centimeters, that's in here. And so what happens is the light comes here, goes down to the focal point. Light going through the focal point just can't go, but you see we go up this way and off that way. Light through the center keeps going. Well, what happens is none of these all come together, but they all look like they're convert, they, 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 they came from something over here. So there's not really anything there. So in that case, this is a virtual image. Okay, so we have a virtual image. Now, again, di equals 1 over f minus 1 over do to the minus 1. So if we plug in the mathematics, it comes out to be minus 17.2 centimeters. The negative distance means it's on the wrong side. So that means that it is, in fact, a virtual image. Well, we got that from the diagram anyway. So this is a virtual image. It's erect, so it's upright. Okay, magnifications minus uh, di over do, that comes out to be 3.28 times. So that means it's enlarged. Again, positive number there means it's upright. Well, this is an interesting thing. Because you look at this and say, well, gosh, what, what is this telling me? Um, the, 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 same as before. If uh, for, we, we talked about the center of curvature as 2F for a mirror. And so what we find here is the same thing. If DO is less than F, then what you always get always is going to be a virtual. If DO is greater than F but less than 2F, then DI is going to be greater than 2F. And you're going to end up with an enlarged real image. If DO is greater than 2F, then DI is going to be between F and 2F, and you end up with a reduced or smaller real image. Mathematically, you can also show that if, if DO equals 2F, then DI is also going to equal 2F, and you end up with a real image that is the same size. So now the question is, if DO equals F, what happens? So we get a lens. We put a light source right here, okay, right at F. So what would happen is light comes up, and it goes off that way. Every time it hits the lens, it goes out straight. Okay. And so, again, 1 over uh, F equals 1 over DO plus 1 over DI. If, if DO equals F, then 1 over DI has to equal 0. That implies DI is going towards infinity. So that means that that if you put a light source right at the focal point of a lens, then the beam of light on the other side of the lens is going to go be going straight out. This is the idea of a flashlight or a searchlight or even the headlights of a car. Is you put the light source right near where that's going to be, and then it sends the light out. Uh, 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 um, and it doesn't matter if it's a lens, if a mirror. You put the light source right near the mirror, and the light again is going to go straight out. So e either way. So this. This holds for both mirrors and lenses, and and um, and so this this would be how how you would you would do this. In fact, usually with with a, uh, a flashlight or or searchlight or lights in a car, you actually put both these things. You put a mirror, you put a mirror over here, and, and so forth. So so you actually actually end up uh, um, combining. Uh, 
Okay, so this is this is a a uh, uh, um, this is the base.